Okay, so this is a quick show and tell of a new uh, mind mapping app I found called GitMind. I really like it because it is quick, intuitive, and you can build a map really quickly. So this is how it looks. You start with a central node or a floating node. Double click inside of it. I'm going to make a mind map about mind maps. There you go. Now I can add more elements. So if you're working on a system, you have many elements in the system. You can just go to a blank spot, right click on it, add another floating node, add a whole bunch of floating nodes if you like. And then you can say what they are. So I'm going to have origins of mind maps, who uses it, domains of use. Uh, I'm going to have some benefits, right? And I can keep building many, many different nodes and then think about connecting them later. Another way of building out your mind map is you can take one of your nodes, um, let's say benefits. And by the way, you can move these around as you like. And then if you put your cursor inside the topic, hit tab, you get a topic branch. So benefits to writing. I want a few more. Put my cursor inside the topic. Hit tab, get another topic branch, benefits for thinking. Cursor in topic, hit tab, get another topic branch, benefits for learning. And this way um, I can keep building out these connected areas. Now I can also keep going into more and more detail, which is great for systems mapping. So I can put my cursor inside the topic writing hit tab and go into more detail outlines you can do right another uh, area is unpacking writing prompts and so on and this can get very very granular i can have a whole bunch of topics subtopics right for each one of these there you go all i'm doing is putting my cursor inside the main topic hitting tab and getting a topic branch. I can move these around as I like to make space. Now I can also connect these floating nodes. What I can do is, for example, I want to connect hang on, a mind map to benefits. I right click on mind map and I see this insert relational line. If I click on it, I get that line and I connect it. These two things toggle the line, so you can drag it to see how you want your line to be. So your mind map's growing now. Other things you can do with this tool, if I want to add a comment inside, say, this box of benefits, I click in the box, go up to this little paperclip sign, click on it, and I can say insert comment. That opens up a space and I can add a long comment if I like can be a paragraph long because it won't clutter your actual map so you can add your notes uh, add notes explanations and so forth and then it's right there so somebody could hover over and read it right um, and so you can keep adding notes now you can also if you like let's say I want to add under learning I want to add a picture right so I can click in the learning topic box go to my attachments insert an image and then if I have an image on my computer I can drag and drop it right there takes a second and I want to add this image there it is now I've added the image I can add a hyperlink let's say I want to link origins to a uh, website then I would click inside that box select that word go in there insert a hyperlink and um, put in my link and now there's a hyperlink if somebody clicks on it they're going to be taken to the hyperlink. So that's just a little bit of what GitMind can do. It's shareable, so you can collaborate on it. 
um, in real time together. You can collaborate asynchronously and build this out with your group um, over a few days, a week or so, and you can keep fiddling with it. There are so many more features. You can play with the theme, right? Maybe I'm going to change the theme like that. I'm not. I can play with the, the layout. Maybe I want it to look this way, right? Uh, or like that. And then make that change. So um, that's Git, Git Mind. Um, explore it. I hope you enjoy it. I really think this is easier to use than some of the links I sent you. Uh, although I do still love Miro. Miro is a drawing program that allows you a lot of control and uh, it's also shareable, very easily shareable. So have fun with the mind maps and let me know if you have any questions.